What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 18.5 Beta 2 for registered developers and soon for public beta testers. Now along with this release, Apple also released the second beta for iPadOS 18.5, watchOS 11.5, macOS Sequoia 15.5, tvOS and HomePod version 18.5, VisionOS 2.5, and then we also got the RC release for macOS 14.7.6 and 13.7.6 for older Macs. But of course, in this video, we are talking all about iOS and iPadOS 18.5 beta 2. So first off, you can see the size of this update came in at 1.02 gigabytes on my iPhone 16 Pro Max, which of course was coming from the first beta. So a relatively large size from beta to beta. So let's go ahead and check out the new build number for this release. So if we head into our settings, general about 18.5, the new build here is 22F 5053F. So we do still have an F at the end of the build number, which indicates we still have a few betas to go before the final release. And then if we go back and go down to the modem firmware, that is 1.60.00 on the iPhone 16 series. So that's a little bit different than what we saw on beta one. So if you have modem issues, we do have a newer modem firmware. So those could be resolved. Okay, so now what's new here in iOS 18.5 beta two, and just as I told you guys for the first beta, iOS 18.5 as a whole is not going to be a major update. iOS 18.5 is a minor update, which came after the big iOS 18.4 update. So the 0.5 updates are almost never large updates for Apple. And we're kind of expecting the same here with 18.5. So, you know, just for this beta and moving forward, just keep it in your head to know that this is not going to be a major update with a ton of new features. They're going to be very minor changes and a lot of bug fixes. But with that being said, we do have a nice new change in the mail application, specifically in iOS 18.5 beta 2. So if you go into the mail application and you're in a category like primary, transactions, you know, updates, any of those categories, you will notice on the far right, we now have a visual preview of the all mail little platter right there. So the button you can see there's a little preview on the far right end of the screen, whereas in beta one, and also in iOS 18.4, as you can see on the left, there is no preview that that all mail button even exists. And you can see that before when you tapped on primary to go to all mail, it kind of just came out from the side right there, you didn't really see the button until you tapped on it. But now now in 18.5 beta 2, you can see the button right there and you can kind of see it select it and come in after you tap on that. So it's a lot smoother. And we also have a visual cue now that all mail is actually something that exists in the mail application because a lot of people are still confused about this with the categories, which by the way, you can turn these off as well. If you tap on the three dots up in the top right, you can just disable categories altogether by tapping on list view. And then you have all of your emails in one list like the old days. So you can change that if you would like to. I personally like categories, but you can change that if you would like. Now, also, of course, we did see a change in mail with beta one as well. This is not changed in beta two, but I did just want to mention it again, and that is to show contact photos. So that's something that was not there in 18.4, but now in 18.5, we have the ability to show and hide contact photos from the mail application instead of going into your settings for it. So before you had to go into apps, go down to the M's, go to mail, and you would see it pretty much right away right here with show contact photo. So now that's built in straight into the mail application for easier and more convenient access. This update also brings a new splash screen for Apple News Plus food. So the new food section and the Apple News Plus application, if you have the subscription that was added in iOS 18.4, but there was never this splash screen until until now here in the second beta of 18.5, at least not that I've seen. So of course, it just takes you right here to the recipe catalog, but at least that you know, tells people now that they have access to food if they didn't know about it before. And you can access that by going to following and then you have food right here. I will, you know, say that I wish Apple made it easier to access, maybe add it as a, you know, maybe a tab on the bottom, or at least give us the option for that. It's kind of hidden over here if you're not watching these videos. So that is something new though, that splash screen there in 18.5. Beta 2. Now, unfortunately, with iOS 18.5 Beta 2, we did go backwards in the Photos application. So if you go down to Recently Deleted and you go ahead to View the Album, you'll notice at the bottom, we no longer have those buttons where you can recover all or delete all. So in Beta 1 and also in early builds of iOS 18.4, there was the ability 
to you know re recover all or delete all from a button down here but now you have to tap on this and from here you just get the options and filters you don't get the option to delete all or recover all you have to select them individually and then do that and that kind of makes sense because I mentioned in my iOS 18.5 beta 1 video that that build was most likely built before the final version of iOS 18.4 so that's why it included some of the changes that were in earlier betas of 18.4 and they were never actually meant to be in 18.5 they were just in that first build but hopefully we do see them come back at some point in the future now this update also apparently has a fix for the airpods max lossless audio and ultra low latency audio via the direct usb-c connection so if you bought the usb-c cable for your airpods max and you're trying to take advantage of the new lossless audio and ultra low latency audio that was not working on beta 1 of 18.5 but now it appears to be fixed in beta 2. i've not been able to test this myself but i have had users report that and just in case you missed my apple weekly episode over the weekend if you go into your settings general apple care and warranty this page now loads properly for me so we can see the new ui for this page so in my beta one video my what's new video this page would simply not load for me and many others but now it's working as intended and you can see the new top section here in the apple care and warranty section and if you go into one of your devices you can see it in here as well that we have a new layout and also some new buttons like learn about my benefits this page also has a little bit of a redesign however we still have issues like the control center toggle for cellular not updating in real time like it does in the all in one connection at platter so you can see I only have four bars right now or three bars rather but the toggle there is not representing three bars it's showing the full four bars so that is still a bug I've also still seen people complaining about the notification center being jittery so notification center still appears to be an issue here in beta 2 as well and while we're talking about issues we may as well talk about the release notes for 18.5 beta 2 so you can see we have some resolved issues here so we have one for the Apple Vision Pro application we have a resolved issue for HVF and then we also have a resolved issue for store kit and one for writing tools now as far as the performance and battery life goes on 18.5 beta 2 I'm not expecting a huge change from beta 1 but I am going to go ahead and run a Geekbench 6 test to see how the scores compare to beta 1 all right so we scored a 3488 on the single core 8635 on the multi-core so you can see how that compares to the first beta it's actually a good bit higher on both the single core and on the multi-core so 3488 versus 3457 and 8635 versus 8545 so hopefully that's representative in the real world but once again these tests are all you know kind of synthetic they don't really tell you exactly what's going to happen out in the real world and it doesn't account for any type of you know visual bugs and things like that but our hope is that the beta 2 is going to be a bit more stable and of course have less bugs than beta 1 which hopefully it does now as far as battery life goes battery life it's hard to say just yet I will give you guys an update I am running this on my main device so we'll be able to give you guys an update and see if battery life is any better than beta 1 hopefully it's going to be at least near you know the same as 18.4 but again we will have to wait and see I will let you guys know in my follow-up video on Saturday called Apple weekly now as far as what to expect next for Apple I would expect to switch over to a weekly release schedule at this point so we did have a one week gap right here the week of April 7th we did not receive a beta update so I I would expect that to be the only gap until the final release meaning that we should see ios 18.5 beta 3 next week on the week of april 21st and then again on the next week the week of the 28th until eventually we have the final release of ios 18.5 at some point in may now if you are watching this video and you are not currently on the betas we should be expecting to see ios 18.4.1 at some point either this week or next week so that's going to be simply a bug fix update a security patch update it's not going to be you know any type of new features in that update but it is going to be necessary for those security patches and those bug fixes so I would expect to see that in the meantime before iOS 18.5 gets released to the public so that is iOS 18.5 beta 2 once again just as expected a relatively minor update 
that just as every iOS 18.5 beta is going to be, in my opinion. I would not expect anything to get more exciting from here on out. They're pretty much all going to be just as quote unquote boring as this one is. And I say that, but I still like bringing you guys all of the new features and changes, regardless of how small those changes are, because I know you guys love it just as much as I do. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Of course, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future iOS 18 beta videos. And of course, iOS 19 beta videos when those come out as well. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Oh, and I forgot to ask, how do you guys like this backdrop instead of just the white on white, like I do all the time, the white screen with the you know white background? What do you think about this gray background with the white screens? I feel like it might be a little bit easier on the eyes, but you guys let me know in a comment down below. All right, I'll see you guys later.